on the Miqat for the people of Najd. Narrated Salim's father, the Prophet, peace be upon him, fixed the Mawaqeet as follows. Hadith number 1528. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. I heard Allah's Messenger as saying, The Miqat for the people of al Madina is Dhul Hulayfa. For the people of Sham is Mahya, that is al Jufa, And for the people of Najd is Qarib. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, added, They claim, but I did not hear personally, that the Prophet peace be upon him said, The Miqat for the people of Yemen is Yalamla. Chapter on the Miqat for those people who are living within the Mawaqid. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him fixed the Khalifa as the Miqat for the people of al Madina, al Jufa for the people of Shah, Yalamlam for the people of Yemen, and Qarin for the people of Najd. And these Mawaqid are for those living at those very places. And besides them, for those who come through those places with the intention of performing Hajj and Umrah, and whoever is living inside these places can assume Ihram from his own dwelling place. And the people of Mecca can assume Ihram for Hajj only from Mecca. Chapter on the Miqat for the people of Yemen Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him fixed Dhul Hulayfa as the Miqat for the people of al Madina, al Jufa for the people of Sham, Qarn al Manazil for the people of Najd, and Yalamla for the people of Yemen. And these Mawaqid are for those living at those very places. And besides them, for all those who come through them with the intention of performing Hajj and Umrah. And whoever is living within these Mawaqid should assume Ihram from where he starts. And the people of Mecca can assume Ihram for Hajj only from Mecca. Chapter on the Miqat for the people of Iraq is Dhatu Iraq. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. When these two towns, Basra and Kufa, were conquered, the people went to Umar and said, O chief of the faithful believers, the Prophet peace be upon him fixed Qarm as the Miqat for the people of Najd. It is beyond our way and it is difficult for us to pass through it. Umar said, Take as your Miqat a place situated opposite to Qarm on your usual way. So he fixed that Arq as their Miqat. Chapter on Incident of Prophets Offering Salah, Prayer in Dhul Halifa Narrated Nafir, Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, made his camel sit, that is, he dismounted at al Badha in Dhul Halifa and offered the Salah, prayer. Abdullah bin Umar used to do the same. Chapter on the Going of the Prophet, peace be upon him, for Hajj, via a shajara way. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to go for Hajj via a shajara way and return via Mu'arras way. And no doubt, whenever Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, went to Mecca, he used to offer the Salah, prayer, in the mosque of a shajara And on his return journey, he used to offer the Salah at Dhul Hulayfa in the middle of the valley and pass the night there till morning. Chapter on the saying of the Prophet peace be upon him, Al-Atiq is a blessed valley. Narrated Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. In the valley of Al-Atiq, I heard Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying, Tonight a messenger came to me from my Lord and asked me to offer salah, prayer, in this blessed valley and to assume ihram for Hajj and Umrah together. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, May Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, while resting in the bottom of the valley at Mu'awas, a place where a traveler rests in the last part of the night in Dhul Hulayfa, said that he had been addressed in a dream. Verily, you are in a blessed valley. Salim made us to dismount from our camels 
at the place where Abdullah used to dismount, aiming at the place where Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, had rested, and it was below the mosque situated in the middle of the valley, in between them, the residence and the road.